Hi, Dave Kanicki here with Farm Equipment Editor's Hi. blog for September 18th, 2012. In the past few weeks, I've begun hearing from some dealers about how the major farm equipment manufacturers seem to be getting pretty aggressive on pricing, as one dealer put it. That's code for their cutting prices for any number of reasons. Gaining market share, reducing inventory, whatever. This always reminds me of a customer advertiser several years ago who told me he'd buy the same 12-page ad spread in our magazine as he did in our com competitor's magazine if I offered him the same price. That price was about 25% of our competitor's published ad rate. I said, Phil, I'm not in business to give my product away. If price is all that's important to you, then you need to stick with the other guys because I have no intention of going out of business. He looked at me for a few seconds and said, You're right, selling on price ain't selling. Have your guys call me. We ended up getting that order by offering him the small volume discount that he had already earned and which we would have offered to anyone else who met the volume criteria. I was reminded of this by something Mike Lesseter passed around recently from Bob Janet, who described himself as a speaker, trainer, author on sales and profit growth. Janet listed five facts about price. Among these, he included the following, and I particularly like number three. One, price is only one of the things customers shop for. Service and quality are the big ones. You cannot give customers low price and high quality with great service and make big money. Two, price is not the only determining factor for the majority of purchases. If low price was always the determining factor, fast food businesses would only sell the 99 cent items and would be out of business. There would only be low end buffet restaurants. There would be no one playing golf on the weekends when the price is doubled that of weekdays. No one would buy ice cream from ice cream shops. They would only buy it at the grocery store. And Starbucks would have failed in the first month of business. Number three on Janet's list was the one salesperson or customer who mentions price first makes it important. Four, price importance is easily diminished by selling value. Value of the benefits your business delivers to the customer. Five, profitable businesses do not let the competition dictate the selling price. All you have to do is determine the benefits the customer wants, provide those benefits better than the competition does. I know dealers already know these things, but all of us need a little reminder now and then of why we're in business in the first place. First and foremost, it's to serve our customers, but it's impossible to service customers if we're out of business. Thanks for checking in, and we'll talk to you next time.